here at the 2010 OneMed Forum in San Francisco. Now I'm joined with Tom King from Alexa Pharmaceuticals, CEO. Thank you very much, Tom, for joining us. Absolutely my pleasure, thank you. I think the best way to start this is just a brief overview of Alexa Pharmaceuticals, so what you guys are working on right now. Certainly, uh, Alexa is a company that's about 10 years old. Uh, we are founded by the noted uh, biotechnology entrepreneur, Alex Zaffaroni, thus our name, A-L-X-Z-A. -A. Um, and in those uh, few short years, we've taken the idea of creating aerosols using energy into a product that just recently filed a new drug application. We have six products that we've put into development over the last four years, and it's a very exciting technology. Let's talk about that uh, recently filed ANDA for staccatoloxapine. Um, can you just tell us a little bit about the product? Certainly, staccatoloxapine is an intersection of our technology, the staccato technology, with a well-characterized older drug called loxapine. Loxapine has been approved in the United States since 1974 for the treatment of general different types of anxiety disorders and agitation. And what we've done by putting those two technologies together, the drug and the, and the device, is to create a drug to specifically treat acute episodes of agitation. What's your commercialization strategy for, for this new product? Yeah, two years ago, we would have thought that we could have commercialized this drug ourselves. We found that the market opportunity is indeed larger than we had initially anticipated, and our public guidance has been that we're on track to announce our first partnership for a U.S. partner sometime this quarter. Oh, fantastic. Um, let's touch on some of the other drugs that you're using, the staccato uh, uh, drug delivery device in your pipeline. What else are you working on? Yeah, certainly, thera therapeutically, we focused on acute and intermittent conditions. You know, Dr. Zaffaroni felt that there was a gap in medicine in treating uh, things that come on very quickly, that you need a very potent, rapid response, but you want to do it in a very non-invasive way. So as a result, the drugs we've developed focus in that area. We have two drugs we've developed for migraine, we have a drug for acute panic attacks. We have a drug for breakthrough cancer pain. We also have a program in sleep. Again, focusing on speed of onset, uh, very predictable response in a very easy to use manner. Excellent. I guess just as a, a brief recap, when we're going over, from an investor standpoint, what kind of major catalysts and uh, milestones could we expect to see, you know, going back to, as you're saying, um, filing for uh, a partnership, Certainly. things of that nature, in the rest of 2010. Certainly. Well, 2010 is a breakout year for us. We filed our first new drug application. In 2010, you should expect to see a partnership in the first half of the year. You should expect to see the drug approval in the second half of the year, sometime in the fourth quarter, and product launch early in 2011. So it's a very exciting year for investors as Alexa starts to become a commercial company. Excellent. Thank you very much for joining us, Tom. It's absolutely my pleasure. Thank you. Again, that was Alexa Pharmaceuticals. For more information, they trade under the symbol ALXA. You can find more information on their website at alexa.com as well as information on womedplace.com.